In this film, we're going to tell you what to expect when you have a blood transfusion. A blood transfusion is a common procedure which involves taking blood from one person, the donor, and giving it to a person who requires more blood. The most common reason for a blood transfusion is to address a shortage of red blood cells in the blood. Red blood cells are essential for carrying oxygen around the body. Sometimes this happens because the bone marrow, which produces red blood cells, can't make enough of them. You will need to sign a consent form before your blood transfusion. A nurse or doctor will go through this with you and you can ask as many questions as you like. A nurse or doctor will take a small blood sample to check your blood type. It's very important that you're given blood that's compatible with your blood type, so you must be correctly identified at each stage of the blood transfusion. You'll be asked to state your full name and date of birth. If you're an inpatient, wearing an identification band with your correct details is essential. If you're an outpatient, you will not usually be given an identification band. Some people will be given a card when they have their blood transfusion to say that they can only get specific types of blood. You need to keep this card safe and show this to your nurse or doctor. You can eat and drink normally before your transfusion. A blood transfusion is a straightforward procedure which is carried out by a nurse. You can be sitting up or lying down during your transfusion. Your blood pressure will be tested before your transfusion and at roughly 15 minute intervals throughout the transfusion. The blood is usually given through a tiny tube called an intravenous line, which is inserted directly into a vein in the arm using a fine needle. The insertion may cause slight discomfort for a moment but you shouldn't feel anything during the transfusion. It may take up to four hours to give each bag of blood, although this can be safely speeded up when necessary or if it's urgent. You may be given more than one bag of blood as part of your treatment. If you have two or three bags, the procedure can take much longer as subsequent bags must be delivered. You'll be observed before, during and after your blood transfusion. If you feel unwell during or after your transfusion, you should inform your nurse or doctor immediately. People usually choose to bring a book, laptop computer or tablet, music or other distractions to fill the time during the procedure. After a blood transfusion, your temperature, blood pressure and heart rate will be checked. Then the intravenous line will be taken out of your arm and a small plaster applied. You may have slight bruising or soreness for a few days at the site where the line was inserted, but otherwise you should feel normal. You may need blood tests that show how your body is reacting to the transfusion. If you're an outpatient, you can go home immediately after your blood transfusion. You can resume normal activities and continue your usual diet and any medications. Blood transfusions are very safe. Any risk to your health will be far outweighed by the benefits of having a blood transfusion if your doctor has referred you for one. Every year, approximately 2.5 million units of blood or blood components are transfused in the United Kingdom, and it's extremely rare for any side effects to be reported. In the unlikely event that you develop a temperature, chill or rash, this reaction will usually be mild and can be treated with over-the-counter medicines such as paracetamol, or antihistamines, or by slowing down or stopping the blood transfusion. Severe reactions to blood transfusions are extremely rare. If they do occur, they usually happen in the first few minutes of the transfusion, and staff are trained to recognise and treat them. The likelihood of getting an infection from a blood transfusion is far lower than most everyday risks. For example, you're more likely to be struck by lightning in the next year than to get an infection from a blood transfusion. If you would like more information about the risks of transfusion, these can be found on the NHS website. If you have any questions or concerns about receiving a blood transfusion, you should discuss these with your doctor or nurse. Many hospitals have a dedicated hospital transfusion team who you can talk to.